G'day guys, welcome back again. I've been doing so many other things lately in the last week or two that um, I'm having withdrawals from my flip cups. I am. So, I'm going to do uh, a little take on a beach pour. My interpretation of a beach pour, so sort of beachy colours here. I've got lots of white, um, a sandy colour, um, a sort of a wet sandy colour <laughs> and a bluey turquoise. So that's my interpretation of a beach anyway. I just thought those colours might look pretty together so let's give it a go. And I wanted lots of white so I want shades of like blue, light blue and this red oxide and the light red oxide the and a couple of shades of the beachy sandy colour as well. So that's my idea. Uh, the mix today is my glue and water. Now this one's a little bit thicker than what I have been doing in the last couple of pours. This one's 65 glue to 35 water. And we'll see how it goes. I've sprayed these two cups with some silicone oil uh, just to help the paint release. And what have I got in here? I have about 150 grams of mixed paint in each. I don't plan on using all of it, especially this one. I think this one might take over, so I probably won't use all of that. Just check this consistency, make sure they're all about the same. So they leave a nice mound on top. A mound on a mound. That one is probably the thinnest out of all of them. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in the whites. Just so that they feel the same. All of them are the same. I hope you can hear me over the rain. It just sort of stopped. So I thought I'd jump in and do a video. It was so loud in here before. Couldn't even hear the radio. It's a bit torrential at the moment. I just want to make sure this is not too thick. So a mound on a mound. Like a little sand castle made with wet sand is what I'm after. So, as I said, the turquoisey one there was the, probably the thinnest of all of them, so I'm going to make the others the same. I'd rather have them slightly on the thinner side than the thicker side, as you probably seen with my pores. If, if the paint is a little bit too thick, my cells go a little bit sort of hazy. And I don't get that nice defined ring around the outside. So I have to be careful not to make it too thick, but thick enough to hold the cells in place. All right, let's hope that's okay. Sorry, I should have done this off camera for you. Maybe I can show you the consistency on this one. See how it's making a little castle? That's the right consistency. All right, uh, so 150 grams, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 5, let's go. Let's go five drops in each, including the white. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, let's go six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Probably get away with it having a little bit of extra oil with a slightly thicker mix. And that's just my treadmill silicone, 100% silicone oil. Give that a good stir around. Make sure you can't see any traces of it on top. That one feels a little bit thick. 
I'm probably just overthinking it. Right, let's get to layering. So just for two cups today. And I'm just going to flip them over, not drag them. And I think because they're such tall cups, I'm just going to do this. Because by the time the paint gets all the way to the bottom, it's, I'd have to pour it from quite a high distance. Um, the paint will probably go through into the white. So I'll just do this. Some more white. And my lovely turquoise. I'll tell you about the colours in a minute once I've flipped these over. And some more white. So the bluey turquoise has got the white either side of it. And then these two are separated by the white as well, so they're not touching the blue. Looks like I'm going to have enough for three layers of paint, since I'm only doing two cups. Although I don't think I'll do three of this red oxide. I just have a feeling it might take over, so let's put him away. I think he may take over so just a little pop of red oxide I would like a little bit of splash of that sort of a darker color not too much all right let's finish off the white so after quite a pale looking pour that's what I've got in my mind anyway with pops of a darker blue and some of the red oxide. That's what's in my head anyway. Whether or not my pore will look anything like that, I don't know. We have these images in our minds of what we think our pores are going to look like, don't we? And then I think we get rather disappointed when they they're not, but it's fluid art and it's really, we can't really control it at all. Right, let's finish off with the blue. There's a lot of paint here. We don't need the rest of that white either. Probably got a bit too much paint today, but now which way do I want to tip this? I might do one one way and then the other the other way. I seem to get different effects when I flip them the other way. It's just bizarre on that way, and I don't know why. Okay, we'll just wait until the paint releases from the bottom of the cup there. You'll be able to see it because it'll go dark. There it goes. That's the silicone spray doing its thing. This one, I'll just spray the inside of the cup there. And you can see how it's already released. And then I just wipe the excess out with a piece of paper towel. So my colours today are the Global. That one is Red Oxide. And then my other beachy one is called Flesh. And then I have White. And this one is called Coastal Turquoise. It's a limited edition colour, but if you just get turquoise and put a touch of cobalt blue in it, you should get the same colour, roughly. All right, now my paint's down to here. I can see it through there. And let's just... Actually, I'll do this one first. Ooh, that looks like an ocean to me. Wow. Now, see if I can do the other one the other way. I've got a lot of paint cups here that I need to move so I can get around the back here. Move my ladder out of the way. 
move everything out of the way without trying without knocking the tripod. Okay, ready? Ooh. Looks like a little bit of a sunset happening there at the beach. Look at that. And those cups are pretty clean. I'm not going to use any more of that paint that's in there because it's muddy. Right, this is looking pretty special. And I've got cells popping up straight away, so that's a good indication that my mix isn't too thick. And I'm probably going to need a stick to catch the paint. So let's get those ready as well. And I've got my little torch ready to go. Well, my big torch, my big butane blowtorch. Now you behave yourself today, Mr. Blowtorch. No flames. Try and pop some bubbles. It's going to go really gently to begin with. So I don't want too many cells. So nice and high. I can see where the cells are going to be before I do too much more. So there's a lot there already. It take a while to come up, so don't just go over and over and over. Go over and then wait because they will come up. So I'll just give that a minute and wait to see where they come up. Loving these colours. Doesn't it look like the sunset over the beach? Wow. Wasn't expecting that sort of a pinky hue. Alright, so this side's got plenty. I just need a few more down here and a few more in there. And then maybe in this middle bit, if I can get in that middle bit without um, getting too far over the rest of it. Oops, got a lot here. Just went got a bit close there. A bit too much heat. Not much is happening over in this side here. I mustn't have, mustn't have stirred my silicone in very well. Over there, it's missing some. But that looks really, really good for this stage. And I hate to lose that little cluster there. That is just gorgeous. Rightio. Let's do this. Now, there's not really one side that's got more paint than the other. And I'm going to try and catch the paint. I'm going to go down here first. So let's get going. Paint off to the side and down to the corner. And back. Whoa, drop my stick. Wow, that is... Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. It's just a shame I end up with this line through the middle. If I didn't have that, because that kind of is off centre now, if I didn't have that line where the two cups meet, um, you wouldn't see that, that join. But anyway, can't do much about that. Let's go over here. Whoa, I'm losing cells. Come back, you gorgeous creatures. And back. Oh, I've kept them. I've kept some of them. There we go. I kept a few. My goodness. Wow. Should have called it Sunset Beach. Hey, what's the terminology? What's the word? Sunset can't think of it. All right. Now, this little bit here on the side, I don't mind getting rid of that. I'm going to take the weight of the paint down a bit and then I can turn a little bit there. I'm just going to try and get a little bit of that off. And then what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to... 
down to this corner here. And back. Alright, so that got rid of that bit there that I wasn't happy with. Oh look, my line straightened up. I don't even know how it did that. I was watching the corner. Oh, I love it, I love it. Clean my hands a bit. Haven't I got some lovely background, you guys? Now, tricky bit. I'm going to use the under the canvas card technique here to push this middle bit which is a little bit squished to hopefully push down to that corner. I don't want this side here that I'm lifting up, I don't want that to, to move too much. Alright, so that's gone down there so I've got a lot of paint sitting just there. And if I take my stick, may be able to just catch, I can't get my glove under there, catch that before it all goes off the side. middle bit just a touch whoops I'm losing my corner all right that'll have to do what do you think now there is no way that I am torching this because I've really been enjoying my background lately. Just going to bring those over a bit. Yeah, loving the background, so no torching for you. clean off this bottom bit here and we are done. Just fixing my composition just a touch. Okay. Beautiful if I do say so myself. And I like these colours. And I'm glad I didn't use all that red oxide. I've still got half a cup left. It's just enough, isn't it? It's just a little pop here and there and that background. So I'm really enjoying that where you just flip the cups over and I don't get the lines for my background. So really, really enjoying doing that. All right, I'm going to take these gloves off, take you in for a close-up. Loving it. I'm just trying to push these back a little bit overstretch these ones down here. That's all. Look, stop fiddling, Julie. All right. What can I call it? It needs a nice sunsetty name. Not Sunset Boulevard, but something. I don't know, Caribbean sunset? 
Does that sound beachy and sunsetty? Whoops, where did my colour go? Okay. Leaving it just like that. Oops, you can't see the bottom corner. Doesn't matter. There we go. Stop rocking it. So beautiful, beautiful cells. It's just a pale, sort of a almost a pastely sort of a look, isn't it? But my cells are gorgeous. They've got rings around them. They're not hazy. The cells are separate from each other. If you look at well, pretty much most of the cells, there's space between the cells. They're not all knocking into each other um, and going sort of misshapen. They're staying nice and round-ish because I haven't over-torched. I haven't got too many cells. There's room for the cells to be cells with the background without having too much going on. And I love the background, so no need to torch. I'm excited. Can you tell? <laughs> all right. Um... I will pop the photo up on Facebook because I'm so excited but you're going to have to wait for the video because I only do one video a day. So sometimes I might do three or four pulls in a day and put the photos up because I'm so excited but then I just have to wait for the videos. I can't do more than one a day, it's a bit much. And then if I have to work for a few days, I can still put one up every day for you. So that's the plan. Right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, I will see you for the next one. Yay! So excited! Bye for now.